This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest today is AJ Drexler, who is the CEO of an organization called Entrepreneurs Forever. AJ, welcome to the show. Good to have you on. Thank you, John. It's nice to be here. So I think a lot of folks will not know what Entrepreneurs Forever is all about. Can you help us understand it? I absolutely can. Entrepreneurs Forever is an organization whose mission is to empower all small businesses to become family sustaining, meaning they can support their families on their business and to become community supporting, to be able to hire in the communities that they that they exist in. So we do that by uh, bringing small groups of 10 to 12 uh, small business owners together and keeping them together in a peer learning program for three years so that they really become connected with this other group of entrepreneurs. They have them for life or forever, entrepreneurs forever. Um, and they're there to help one another to grow. And that our job is to provide them the resources and the opportunity to do that. I was fascinated with the notion of how many sole proprietor entrepreneurs or businesses are out there. And by sole proprietor, you really mean one person who comes up with an idea. They don't hire people, at least at the initial stage. There are a lot of folks out there in Western Pennsylvania doing this, right? There are. And this has been a major shift in our economy. So in the last 20 years, we have more than doubled the, the number of businesses that are remaining or that are getting stuck as non-employer businesses. So it's critical to the economy. It's 81% now of, of all small businesses are non-employer businesses. And that's true all the way across the country. It's not just in Western Pennsylvania. It's not just in sort of hard hit areas. It's all over the country. Some of that has happened for good reasons. You know, we have a gig economy now that we didn't have before, and there's all kinds of good things about gig economy. We have startup acceleration. We have a lot more uh, focus and support for startups. But the problem is those businesses, those non-employer businesses are generating on average less than 50,000 a year in revenue. When that's the case, they're only taking home $26,136 on average to their family. That's not sustainable. It's below the poverty level for a family of four. And not what we want to see, you know, on average, 81% of our businesses producing. So our job is to help them grow, is to help them get, you know, beyond, ideally, beyond that non-employer business status and be able to start hiring within the community. It's an awesome goal. And I think the other thing that attracted me to your program is that you're focused not just on Allegheny County, but in rural areas. And you've received a special grant, uh, thanks to, I believe, Senator Casey and other mm -hmm. congressional leaders. Tell us what's going on here with the rural communities. So I think there is just an expanding understanding that our rural communities really need support to grow these businesses. We all you know, we all exist in, a, in, a, in an area where we have steel impacted communities and coal impacted communities. And, you know, the whole economy in those communities has changed. For a long time, I think many of those communities were waiting, like waiting for the next big thing that was going to come in, you know, waiting for Amazon to decide where to put their next warehouse. But what we're seeing is that many of those communities have really come to the understanding that they've got to grow their own. They've got to build these businesses within the communities where they exist. So Senator Casey, uh, knowing that our program was already um, very active in Allegheny County and also Westmoreland, Washington, and, and had started in Erie, provided uh, funding through a community projects grant for us to be able to expand to all 25 counties of Western Pennsylvania. So you know we've kicked off in Venango already. We're going to be going uh, out to, to nearly all of those outlying counties to make sure that they are getting the same amount of support for growing their businesses as you know might be available in Allegheny County. Well, this is really important, and it's so good of you to be on the show this morning because I, I just think that that uh, helping entrepreneurs through advice and guidance from other entrepreneurs, what an excellent way to provide support. Thank you, AJ Drexler from Entrepreneurs Thank Forever. Thank you for being with us today. Very happy to be here. Thank you, John. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.